5.3c Pythagorean Theorem Applications. With applications, it is always helpful to draw a picture. This helps us to define the different portions of the question. Example 1 asks, the base of a ladder is 4 feet from a building. The top of the ladder is 8 feet up the building. How long is the ladder? Drawing a picture will help us to assess this question. If I draw a building and I know that I have a ladder leaning against it, then I can fill in the information that was given. It said that the base of the ladder is four feet from the building, which means that this distance is four feet. It also stated that the top of the ladder is eight feet up the building, which means that this side is eight feet. It then asked, how long is the ladder? We can see that the corner down here is a right angle. We can enter that in. We then know that the side that is always opposite the right angle is our side C or hypotenuse. We now have all the information needed to use the Pythagorean theorem. We know that it is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Remember that we can label A and B however we wish. A we will label as eight feet, so it is now eight squared. B is four feet, so we label it as four squared, and that this equals C squared. Eight squared is 64, plus four squared, which is 16. We add the two of these together, and we get 80 equals C squared. We have now isolated the variable, so we may take the square root of each side. When we take the square root, we get C equals and since 80 is not a perfect square, we will need to round. In this case, we'll be rounding to the hundredths, and we will write the answer as 8.94 feet. This means that the ladder is 8.94 feet long. In example two, we might need to draw another picture. A young boy is flying a kite. He let out 21 meters of string until the kite was flying over the head of his sister who is nine meters away. How high is the kite? Let us first draw the boy holding the kite. The boy has the kite and it says that he let out 21 meters of string which means that we have 21 meters of string out and a kite. Next, it says that it is flying over the head of his sister. So his sister is located underneath the kite. And it says that his sister is nine meters away which means we know the location from him to his sister is nine meters. Remember that the amount of string he let out was 21 meters. The only unknown factor is how high is the kite. We then can see that a right angle has formed over the head of his sister, remembering that Going directly across from a right angle helps us to find C or the hypotenuse. We can label it. Now we can label A and B as we choose, so let's label the empty side as A and the other leg as B. We now have all the information needed to use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Since we do not know a squared, we leave it blank. We do know that b is nine, so we have nine squared. Finally, we have c squared, which is 21 squared. 
This gives us a squared plus 81 equals 21 squared, which is 441. We now must isolate the variable. We do so by subtracting the 81 from both sides. This gives us a squared equals 360. Now that the variable has been isolated, we may take the square root of each side. This gives us a equals, and since this is not a perfect square, we will need to round. We will be rounding to the hundredths. So a will equal 18.97 meters, or it is 18.97 meters off of the ground. Remember when solving applications, it is helpful to draw a picture to determine sides A, B, and C for use in the Pythagorean theorem.